Okay, so what I want to show you is a way of managing your references when you're writing an essay or a lab report or a dissertation, whatever it is. There's a way within Word of organizing your references so that you don't make mistakes and you have to think about them a lot less. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you go along to the references tab here. Um, then you go to manage sources. On the left here, you have your master list. Now these are references you've added from a previous document. Okay, so everything every time you add a source in here, it will keep it for you. So if you if you're writing one essay and you write another one in the next you know, in, in the future, um, and you find you're using the same sources, instead of having to add them in again, you can just copy them across to the current list. So the current list is what you've got available within this document. Um, as you can see here, I've got nothing in here at the moment. So I'm going to go and add a new one here. So I'm going to go to new. Um, first thing you do is select the type of source. Now, there's quite a few different kinds of sources in here. Um, there's book, uh, journal article, uh, website, which are probably the main ones that you'd use. But there's all sorts in here. Um, just make sure you select the right thing for what it is you're doing. So say we're going to add a book. First of all, we put in the author. Uh, let's say it's uh, Mr. John Smith. We add that in. Say he's got a co-author, and that is Jane Doe. Okay, so we click OK there, and let's put the authors in there for us. Title, um, say it's the biology of toads. Year, put in our year, 19... Ooh. 1996. Um, you can put the city in there if you want. And the publisher, let's just say uh, ABC um, Publishing. Okay, and then you just click OK. And you can see when you add one, it, it puts it in your master list and in the current list as well. Okay, um, I'm just going to go and add a few more. Okay, so I've added in some uh, sources now. Uh, I'll just show you how I've done them. So, for example, here we have a corporate author. It's a website, the BBC. It's the weather page, and it, it was last updated in 2019. Um, and then at the bottom here, we put in the URL. Okay. There's a box here that says uh, show all uh, bibliography fields. If we click on that, you can add more detail in. So I'd always recommend adding as much detail as you possibly can when putting references in. Um, so for example, here I've put um, the year I've had, and month and day that I accessed it, which was today. Um, and there's other things you can add if, if you want as well. Um, here we have a journal article. Again, uh, we can add more detail if we wanted to by clicking on this button here. So for example, you might want to add the volume um, and the issue number. Um, so you can add that in if you need to, and I would always recommend doing so if you can. And that's that. Okay. So now that we've got these in our list and they're in our current list, so they're applicable to the current document, we can start writing. Um, for example, just some very scientific uh, writing here. And we want to reference that. So we go to insert citation. And that was uh, from here. Okay. So you can see how it's put, put it in brackets for us and the, and the year. One thing to check is the style you want to use. Most commonly, we would use Harvard. And that ensures that it's, it's referencing it in the right way for us. So we can carry on writing. So now that we've finished our essay, and we want to put in our references at the end of the document to show where we got our um, information from, we can go to Bibliography. And you can select any of these, but I would, I'd recommend the middle one here. And there you go. It's put them all in 
for us. All that information that we entered has been all put in nicely, correctly, and there's no way of making a mistake there. Okay, it's all alphabetical ordered. Um, the italics, bits that are in italics are in italics, and etc. etc. Okay. So that should make life a lot easier for you. You can't go wrong. Um, one last thing that I'll show you just to, to emphasize how useful this is. Say we got this date wrong. Say um, this wasn't 1996, it was actually 1986 or something like that. Um, we go to Manage Sources, we go back to our this reference, and go to Edit. And you can very simply just change the date. We apply it to both lists again, and we close. And as you can see, it's updated all the references in writing for us. And it has not updated down here. So the thing you must remember if you make any changes to your lists is you have to click here and go to update. So this you have to update manually just by clicking update. And the in writing references should update as you uh, change the references. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, and thanks for watching.